Alan Itchett here, and welcome back to Super Mario Maker. On the last edition of this, we uh, were dissecting my stages, and we made it all the way to Koopa Castle, which is the fourth stage that I uploaded. No, it's the third stage. I, well, the rest of these are pretty short. I'll do the rest of these in this one. We're going to go quick through Mega Man Highway, because it is probably the level that I am least proud of. And, uh... If I were to run out of uploads and needed to delete a level, this would be the first one to go. 61 clears out of 333 attempts, or lives used, the clear rate is pretty low. It's basically a stage inspired by the, the intro stage to Mega Man X. So, of course, I include a Mega Man amiibo costume. The Koopa Paratroopas are those guys that fly in and stomp the ground. The Bill Blasters are the big mech dudes. There's kind of a leap of faith there. But if you get a run and go and you don't lose your momentum, you'll make the jump. Or else you'll just fall to your death. That paraspiny there is the B-Blader that's within Mega Man X. And here's that first part where you fall down after you fight the B-Blader. And you get the health and you can wall jump out of the thing. I'm very not proud of this level, whatever. So I'm going to try to be quick about beating it. There's the second B-Blader, another power-up, some more enemies. This wasn't a complete recreation, it's inspired by I try to do it the best that I can, and the Bowser Jr. fight is the, the vile fight, so... Quick and to the point, not even two minutes into the video and we're done with Mega Man Highway. I wanted to get that out of the way, I don't like it, I'm not proud of it, but I leave it there because why not? So next, know your skills. Now this one has 17 clears, and uh, what was the other thing? It's got a 2.63 clear rate. 646 lives lost here. This is where I started getting proud of... I said that in the Koopa Castle, but I'm also really proud of this, because there's a lot of mechanics in the new Super Mario Bros. U style of uh, game. There's spinning, spin jumps, triple jumps, wall jumping. I, and this was an, a thing, a level where I tried to incorporate all of that. So what I do is get a run and go and I spin jump. You don't even need a spin jump there to grab that vine. A lot of people can't figure out how to make this jump. They try to jump from right here and get it and you'll just die. You gotta get a run and go. And here's a coin trail where you just keep spinning and you'll land. Just trying to incorporate those new Super Mario Brothers U mechanics. I actually stole this little trick from Kenyon. So shout outs to Kenyon for this Yoshi sacrifice here. But Yoshi's in this game, so he's a mechanic. Yoshi's a mechanic. Yo, get some fat art on that. Yoshi the mechanic. But you get a run and go. At the peak of your Yoshi jump, jump off and sacrifice him. You'll land on this perfectly. So here we have the wall jump section. I think you can jump over it. No, you can't. I fixed that. But here we have the triple jump section. Because this stage also has three one-ups. I also add some spin jumps to my... Uh, triple jump just to make sure I clear those munchers. But yeah, so far we've... We've seen spin jumping to lengthen your jump, Yoshi sacrifices, the triple jump, and now we have wall jumping. So what I've intended for you to do is wall jump down the middle, land on this one, and then wall jump up the right one. But as it has been brought to my attention, and why I made a second version of this stage, you can just cheese it and jump down there. I did not intend for that. It just happened. So you don't even need to wall jump right. If you want to cheese it, cheese it. Here's the second one up. Now in this block, there's a propeller, so it's going to float away if you don't jump and immediately get it. So here we have a coin trail, but first the mechanics of the propeller. You hit the, the spin button, you spin up. If you keep hitting the spin button, you spin. So that's something you're going to need to do. You get a run and go, follow the trail, and just keep hitting the spin button, and you'll land on that perfectly. 
some people think that's hard, but you gotta keep spinning the spinner here. You hit the button once, you spin, and you keep tapping it, and you'll float down. So up top here, we have our third and final one up. And then we have the, the ending of the level here. In we go. And now Mario is stuck for eternity. So he's going to run. So that was Know Your Skills version 1. I thought at the time that I included every uh, technique and mechanic that's in uh, New Super Mario Brothers U, but I didn't. There's more. We'll get to it later. 22% clear rate, 17 clear, 76 uh, clears. This is Doom Ship. This is what they called airships in the Super Mario Brothers 3 cartoon. This was just me making an uh, airship level in Super Mario World style because I was like, I like airships. Mario World doesn't have airships. Let's make it. I, I at the beginning, wanted to make it auto scroll, but I didn't. But this is a... Uh, this is my take on an airship. It's pretty bad. It's, it's easy. This used to be a cape, and then let's, we're going back to Kenyon again. He got the cape and cheesed the level by getting a run and go and just flew over everything. So I took the cape out and put a fire flower in. <laughs> no more no more cheesing. So there's your, your typical airship, doom ship fair here. There's a power up there. There's nothing too out of the ordinary here. If you bounce off these... I would, could have swore I put enough to get a one up there, but I guess not. Is this a fire flower? Yes, it is. It's just your basic airship level. There's nothing particularly impressive about it, nor is it that well designed. It's just there. It's just my take on a Doom Ship. And I always call him Doom Ship because I grew up watching the Mario 3 cartoon. And I blocked off the exit. When I first made this, I didn't make this wall touch the ceiling so you could just fly over it and touch the goal. But you're supposed to go down here, and there are not three one-ups in this stage, by the way. There's a forced boss fight. You can fight it like Bowser in Mario World, or you can just kill Bowser Jr. the natural way. But you need to kill him, because you need the clown car. to be able to Just to be able to go up this pipe and get to the end. So that's how you can make forced boss fights. And in the last video, I was talking about things that I don't like. I don't like not being able to beat a level. Falling into a pit, that that's a no-no. Everything should be reversible and beatable. You shouldn't be able to fall into a pit and then not be able to get out of it. But I guess that's what the start over feature is for. I also don't like levels that are completely, like, revolved around spin jumping on things that you normally can't regularly jump on. Because that's one of the things in ROM hacks that I hate the most is spin jumping throughout the entire thing. So not being able to clear a stage and not being able to, or entire spin jumping stages are no-nos with me. But I bring that stuff back up because there's some uh, things that you could do in this stage where it might seem like you're stuck. But you're not stuck, because I like I try to make it to where you don't get stuck in my stages. If you can can get stuck, I didn't intend it to be that way, because I don't like that myself. So this stage, it's Troll House. It's clearly clearly meant to be a troll. Six clears, 183 uh, deaths. It's got a, a roughly three percent clear rate. So I'm gonna show off everything there is to do in this stage. There's, at the first start of the stage, I don't know why these don't line up right. Those those are all perfectly spaced out in the, the maker, but these dry bones, they're just all here for whatever reason. Follow the arrows. This is the first stage that I uh, started using sound effects. You need the, the Karibo shoe here to do the stage. And when you put wings on a Karibo shoe, uh, it acts like Yoshi. It flutters. Because the Karibo shoe in Mario 1 and Mario 3 replaces Yoshi. There is no Karibo shoe in Super Mario World or New Super Mario Brothers U. That's Yoshi. So when you put wings on a Karibo shoe, it works and flutters like Yoshi. 
So you need it. Well, I didn't do it right. You got to get a perfect jump, and you'll get up here. Just do the same thing. Follow the arrows. Use your flutter. And over here is a boner coaster. And you'll notice that door, so you know that there's going to be something trolly a little bit later. So we, you just ride the boner coaster until it, the level stops you. And you don't need that. Because if you kept riding it, you'll hit a wall. So... I'm going to use these doors basically like how my brother did it when he first played it. He knew it was a ghost house. He knew it was some trickery. So this is how he played it. He did the jump. And he did it exactly how I wanted you to uh, to get trolled in this stage. He went to the third door first. There's three doors. When you go in the third door, you fall down into this section down here. It says don't fall. But if you can see it you, it, you probably already fell. And you would think that there's no way to get out of this. But there is a way to get out of this. Because all my levels, as far as I know, are beatable. Unless you, like, get hit and lose your power up. So I'm trying to get as far right as I can just to show you what's over here. There's a wall that you can't get through. So the Kribo shoe can bounce on everything. It's like Yoshi who can stand... Well, I'm dead. I did not mean for that to happen. So now i got to get all the way back to that part. I shouldn't have jumped all the way to the right because that was a big no-no there. I just wanted to show you there was no way to get out of that by going to the right. So here we have the Goomba in the shoe. You steal his ride, get a running go. I just hate that I have to do this all over again here. You got a perfect jump here. And then you have a boner coaster down here. Ride it. Well, there it goes. I fell off. Luckily, it respawns pretty fast. The Karibo shoe can also kill booze, by the way. If you didn't know... So, it'll stop us here. Let's go back to the third door and fall down. It, did I put a hint in this stage? No, I didn't put a hint. Okay, that's that's a my bad. But when you're all the way to the, the left here, if you hold the jump button and you bounce off the blade, you'll jump. There's a lot of hidden blocks here, and you can you can you can get out of that. There's a way to get out of it. So that's the third door. So my brother went down the third door. No, he didn't. He went down the first door first because the first door is the trolliest of troll doors. Go on the first door. You fall back at the beginning. Yeah, I put you back at the beginning. It's a troll house for a reason. So he went... My brother played this level. He went down the first door, got mad that uh, he fell back at the beginning. So he then when he figured out something's up. The doors... The doors are tricky. So he skipped the second door. The second door is the, clearly the door you need to go down to beat the level. And throughout the entire level, you've needed the the Karibo shoe. Well, well, you haven't needed it. Well, yeah, you had. You needed it to make the, the jumps and stuff. So he went in the first door, fell back to the beginning, thought something was up, went through the third door. That's the door that throws you down to the bottom, and you can get out of it by just hugging the left and getting up to that door. I think my hint was you could see that door there, and you knew something was up, you could get out of that. Wait, no, that's where you fall. Never mind. There's no rhyme or reason why you should know that you can get out of it. You just you just can. And here's the, the third door. I mean the second. It's the second door, but it's the third option that I have chosen. And I've boxed off the ending. So now you ditch the, the Karibo shoe and you beat the level. So that's a troll house. That's it. I guess I should have, like, put a secret in there, like a coin or something. To make you jump and know that there was a way to get out of that don't fall section. But you can get out of it. So, this one is a silly level kaiju. It means big monster thing. 
So, in this stage, there's a lot of buildings, and there's this gigantic mushroom. It's gonna get big, and now I'm big and I can destroy buildings. This is just a silly level that I wanted to make because I got the, the big Mario amiibo. So, what I like to do is jump up off of these so I jump up high. Okay. Now, you need to get... Okay, see that's something you don't want to happen because you can't beat the level without the, the thing. But this is just a silly level. So what you want to do is hurry up and get to the Star Man that's built into the third set of walls. I mean the fourth set of walls. Whew. <laughs> Luigi's riding dry bones. I you don't want to get hit. Dang it! You. This is the one level that's unbeatable without this power up. It's probably the worst of my own things that I hate, not being able to beat a level. I'm a hypocrite, but it's fine. Because this level's short, and it's silly, and it wasn't meant to be serious. You need the power-up to beat this level. Oh my goodness, Bowser. Okay, okay, this is just this is getting silly. Just bust through. Okay. If you could free a star man and get it, then you're set. And then it's just a kill everything. Luigi is lacky too when you're in this kind of mode. And it looks like the princess is riding on Bowser, but it's a Magic Koopa. And it. The bombs look like King Bobomb from Mario 64 without a crown. Luigi is the guy that's holding. He's the post for Chain Chomps, so. It, everything's silly when you're in this gigantic 8-bit form and the level's over so that's that's just a silly thing that I incorporated so we have one more stage after Mario as a kaiju you should be able to beat that well it's it, the clear rate's low because if you don't get to the star in time, you you die. You gotta you gotta keep the power up the whole way. That that's a that's up in the air whether this stage is good or not. It's silly. Here's Know Your Skills version 2.0, where I included mechanics that I didn't include in the first one, like uh, something I'll show off at the start. It's an underground stage. It's ba it, and there's sound effects cool we're in the stage. I apologize. Loud noises. We know. It's basically the other stage, but I included more things. So it starts off a bit the same. First and foremost, you can't cheese it by, uh, well, let's get the one-ups first. Triple jump and add some spins, get the, that, and what is going to make that? Get the one-up, first one-up. Nope. Okay, hold on. Gotta be able to triple jump. And a couple of spin jumps. Now, you can't cheese it. I blocked it off. See? Added some arrows so you know. Down here, get this power up. Get a ding dong effect. Ground pounding was something that I did not include in the first, uh, the first playthrough. So here we have a one-up, and I'm going to hit this block just to show you what's in it. If you get this, it's kind of trolly, but it, I needed to add a, a twist. You don't want to get that. That's a star, man. If you get that, you won't be able to beat the level. Because you'll end up killing the thwomps that you need to spin jump on. Now see, I, I complained about entire stages of this, but this is one little section of my stage. Where I added in because it's a, it is a mechanic that you can use, and then over here we have the propeller and the third one up, and you can ground pound. 
just wanted to free everything. And up here we have... That... The top of the flagpole is supposed to cause a rave, but I guess the... The... The brick effect canceled the rave out. I don't know what's up with that. But that's Know Your Skills version 2. It's probably one of the, sta the stage that I'm the most proud of. It's like, yo, you gotta, you gotta know how to beat the stage. You, got, you gotta know all your mechanics. You gotta know all the techniques that you can do in New Super Mario Brothers. But that's all the stages we've been through. So if you play them as stages, star them. Let me get more uploads. Um, that'll do it. That's all nine of my stages dissected. I will see you guys in uh, some more Mario Maker later. Peace out, yo!